Hey guys, this is Matt with Sound Off Audio. I'm going to be showing you how to surface mount uh, MB1s or any of these uh, aftermarket tweets on the door panels. So where the wires, we, we see them coming to the shop all the time where the wires just kind of go around the door panel or hanging from up here on the pillar. We're going to show you how to mount these things properly. Hey guys, this is Matt. I'm going to be showing you how to surface mount MB1s and uh, tweeters that are similar to this. All these come with a backing plate like this. This is for surface mount. This is for angled surface mount. And this is garbage. This is what uh, rednecks use to mount stuff. So we don't, we don't use that. And we don't use that. To properly mount this, you want to find a good flat spot that's if you're going to put them on the door panels. You want to find a flat spot. You don't want to overlap them because in order for this tweeter to mount in here properly, this thing's got to be flat. So what you'll need, you'll need probably a 3 16 bit. And a lot of times you can use a, a pilot bit to drill this down. But I'll show you, this is how you do it. You take... If you notice here, there's several screws that come with this. This one is angled so it actually fits flush in there. The other ones have a dome to the top. Um, that's kind of a novice thing that people do. They'll come in here and they'll, they'll put that one screw in here and the tweeter won't mount flush. And they'll just glue it in or something. But this is the proper screw that come with every one of these. And always before you, you want to look at the bottom part of the panel and make sure there's nothing protruding that you're going to mess up, which uh, I've already done. So I usually start and load it on here like this. And it's very important not to over tighten. I actually I like to be able to spin mine with the fingers. So after you do that, depending if your tweeter's got writing on it or not, and this one doesn't, some of them will say power acoustic or whatever at the top. I like for my wire to be at the very bottom. So you get to come in here after you mount this first, drill a hole. Throw the tweeter down. That hole is just to run these wires through so it'll look flush. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I like to be able to move mine a little bit with my fingers because if you tighten it up too too tight, it'll actually bow and concave the, uh, the bottom mount. So this one does not have the capacitor built in like the MB1s, but they supply a capacitor. And to properly wire a capacitor, you just it goes in line on the positive, just like that. So your other positive goes here. You just hook your negative up like regular. Positive goes here, and the positive goes here, and that's pretty much it. And it just filters out all the low, mid bass and uh, bass from the tweets. And that's pretty much it. And then. Uh, of course, before you get to this point and do all this, you want to make sure that the tweeter's not going to hit the pillar or anything that's in the way. Of course, we've already done that. And that's how you do it. Hey, guys. One more thing I want to show you how to properly tap into your wires that go to your, your mid-range speaker here or coaxial or whatever you got in your doors. Uh, we use T-taps. Now, you can cut the wire and put butt connectors in there. But we use T-taps, or Scotch locks, some people call them. And this is what they look like. It's basically a male quarter inch spade that's insulated. And uh, those things, what they do is they just wrap around the wire, 
and it, it pinches on the inside of the wire and it goes through the, uh, the insulation there. Once you get them on there, you got to make sure this thing is centered up. If it ain't centered up, you slide it on there like, like that. It'll go over the top and you won't be making a connection. So, But if you need some of these when you order a box or something from me, just let me know. That's how you do it.